1 through 3, amen, talking about the power of love, glory to God. Yeah. Uh, Father God, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thanking you, Father God, for this time that you have set aside for me to bring forth a portion of your word yeah. before yeah. the hearers, oh God. We pray, oh God, it will fall on softened hearts, oh God. We yeah. see that they're receiving in the fullness and entirety as it yeah. is, oh God. Yeah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because I'm removing self so that you can use me for yeah. your glory, God. I know that it's not about me, but it's about you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Lord God, I pray that your spirit will bring to my remembrance everything that you would have me to bring forth on this afternoon, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because the word is going to come forth not only in word, but in demonstration of the spirit and power, oh God. Not of man's wisdom, but by your word, oh God. All these things we ask, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, the definition of, of power, amen, the ability to do or act, uh, the capability of doing or accomplishing something. And in the definition of love, a profoundly tender, passionate affection for another person, a feeling of warmth, personal attachment, or deep affection as for a parent, child, or friend. Amen. So as we look at the scripture, amen, First Peter 1 verse 20, it says, for who, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, whom by, whom by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead, and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Amen. And when I looked at that scripture, amen, that, that word foreordained stood out, amen, because certainly I know that, amen, before the foundation of the world, amen, God, he put forth a plan, amen, that could reconcile us back into him, amen. We know that sin had separated us, amen, from God, amen, and because God loved us so, amen, and he loved us so much, amen, he saw fit, amen, to devise a plan, glory to God, to redeem us, amen, to reconcile us, glory to God, back unto him, amen. So I think about Lamentations 3 and 21, it says, uh, I have recalled, amen, that I have loved you with an everlasting love, and with love and kindness have I drawn thee, amen. And then, amen, we also think about, glory to God, Lamentations, that says, amen, is of the Lord's mercies, amen, yes. that we are not consumed, amen, uh -huh. for his right. mercies are new every day, amen. Yeah, we know right, that yeah. it's God's grace and mercy, amen, right. his love towards us, amen, right. and his right. call us, amen, to be redeemed and pulled away from the power of sin. Amen. Yeah, As we go on, glory to God, we know that Romans chapter 5, and I like to back up the word with the word, amen. Yeah, Romans yeah. chapter 5 says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our yeah. Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we stand. All right. And rejoice in the hope of glory of God. All right. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Right. Knowing that tribulation works for patience, and yeah, patience, right, experience, yeah. and experience hope, and hope. Now remember that word hope, amen. We read hope back in Peter, amen. And hope make us not ashamed. Why? Because the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, amen. It is the Holy Ghost, amen, who causes us to love as God would have us to love, amen. Scripture goes on to say, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, it goes on to say, verse 6 says, for when we were yet without strength, amen, when right. we were yet without strength, amen, in due time, amen, and the word due means right or right. proper or fitting, amen, an adequate or sufficient, in due time, Christ right. died for the ungodly, amen, yeah. that was Christ showing his love towards us, amen, even though we were right. sinners, amen, we right. weren't thinking right. about Jesus, we weren't right. thinking about what we were doing yeah. in our sin, amen, but he That God, he commended his love. The definition of commend, amen, it means to present or represent as being worthy of regard, confidence, right. kindness, uh, to recommend. He commended his love towards us. Yeah. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ yeah. died for us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So right. we know, amen, that God, he loved us yeah. so yeah. much. Amen. We had the, the former speakers had said, amen, in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever right. believeth in him should not perish but have right. everlasting right. 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 Amen, amen. Glory to God. So we move on. Amen. We move on. I, and I'm, I'm skipping so, so, so I don't be so long. Glory to God. But, uh, verses 22 through 23 of Peter says, Seeing you have purified. Purified meaning to free from guilt or evil. To clear right. or purge. Uh, yeah. Usually followed by or from. To make clean or ceremonial for ritual use. 
Say, seeing you have purified your souls mm. in obeying the truth yes, through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. Unfeigned meaning sincere, genuine, mm. true, mm. real. Amen. See that you love one another yeah. with a pure heart. Yeah. Fervently. Fervently meaning having or showing great warmth or intensity of the spirit. Yeah. Feeling enthusiasm with ardent and fervent Please. Amen. Mm -hmm. Being Amen. born again, not of the corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, yes. by the word of God, Amen. Amen. and abide it forever. So when I think about the word purified, amen, I think about the word purified and the word born again that was in those scriptures that I just read, amen. I think about John 3 and 3 where Jesus said, in order for us to enter the kingdom of God, we must be born again, amen. amen. And he's not talking about a fleshly birth, amen, because the flesh, hallelujah, gives birth to the flesh, amen. But amen, we want to be given birth by the Spirit of God, amen. We want to be given birth by the washing of the Word of God, amen. Now think about the Scripture, glory to God, amen, glory to God, uh, in Ephesians that, that said Jesus, uh, that the wife is to love the husband as uh, Jesus loved the church, amen. And then it went on to say that, that Jesus, amen, he sanctified and he cleansed it, amen, with the washing of the water by the Word, amen. And then Jude 3 and 5 says, not by works or righteousness which we have done, but a According to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. amen. So we see, amen, that, that it, it, it takes love, amen. It takes the Spirit of God to operate in love correctly. St. John 15 and 1 says that we are cleansed through the word that Jesus spoke, amen. amen. We talk about purifying, clean up, amen. amen. We're cleansed through the word that Jesus spoke, glory yeah. to God, amen. And then, amen, as we go on, glory to God, 1 Peter 2, uh, 1 through 3, it says, Wherefore lay aside all malice. What is malice? To desire to inflict injury or harm or suffering on another, either because of hostile impulse or out of deep-seated meanness. And one of the synonyms now was ill will. Hold on to that word, ill will. Glory to God. And it says, and gal, this is something else that we're supposed to put on, gal meaning crafty or artful deception, duplicity, and hypocrisies. A pretense of having possessing, uh, possessing uh, a pretense or having a desirable or publicly approved attitude. Mm. And also we're supposed to put away envies, amen, uh, and evil speaking. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk, amen, of the word. Glory to God. And I, I define the word milk, amen. And check me out what, what, what milk says. It says, a whitish liquid containing proteins, fat, lactose and various vitamins and minerals that is produced by the mammary glands of all mature females after having given birth and serves as nourishment for the young. Well, oh my God. As newborn babes mm. desire the sincere milk of the word. Yeah. We just heard what that definition said, amen. Mm -hmm. That the that the female species, amen, she nourishes her young with milk. Mm -hmm. Hold on to that, amen. And then it went on to say, glory to God, if ye be so have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Amen. So as we look at these scriptures, amen, we think about, amen, the commandment that Jesus had gave us. In St. Yeah. John 13 and 34, it says, a new commandment I give you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, and that ye love one another. Mm -hmm. By this, amen, by this shall men know that you are my disciples. Yeah. Lord, so amen, yeah. now, Romans 13 and says, uh, 13 and says, owe no man anything but to love him. Amen. Yeah. But we know that loving is the fulfillment of the law. Yeah. So when we think about loving, amen, we know that we can't do it by our own power. Amen. Yeah. We know that we can't do it by our own power. Glory to God. So I think about Zechariah 4 and 6 that says, not by might, mm. not by power, but by my spirit, says mm -hmm. the Lord. We've got to walk in the spirit. Amen. Yeah. The spirit of God is he who gives us power to love as God would have us to love. Yeah. And Jesus said in Acts, amen, yeah. tell me here in Jerusalem, glory yeah. to God, until you be endued with power from on high. For it's the Holy Ghost who gives us the power yeah. to love like we're supposed to, amen. We must be born again, amen. Yeah. We've got to surrender our lives to God. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus, so that we can love. Right, I'm getting yeah. hot up here. Y'all see this? Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. responsibility yes. Yes, to, to be as Jesus was. Yes. Think about the, the scripture in Mark chapter 10. I'm going to read this and I'm going to finish out. Amen. Glory to God. It says, 
And they came to Jericho, and as he went out to Jericho with the disciples, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou art the son of David. Have mercy on me. And many charged him. Get this now. That's what they did. Many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried out the more, a great deal, huh? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still, amen, and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, be of good comfort. Rise, he called him thee. And he casted away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight. Amen. Jesus, amen, while he walked on earth, he operated in compassion. Amen. He operated in mercy. Amen. In forbearance. Amen. Those are the characteristics that a believer are supposed to have. Amen. If you're walking in the Spirit, you're going to see this new nature in Christ being manifested in our lives. Amen. Now, see, I think about blind bar man. Amen. He cried out loudly. Amen. He cried out loudly when he could be heard. But see, there are many people, amen, who come in the church. They're not going to get up and cry out to anybody. But see, we as believers, we've got to have a spirit of discernment and we've got to be operating in love so that we can discern when somebody is in need and when somebody is in hurt. Amen. We can share that same love and mercy and compassion with those, amen, who are not believers, amen. We got to love sinners also, amen. Not just those in the household of faith, but love sinners, amen. We got to reach out to them, Lord God. And it's not going to happen until we walk in the Spirit, amen, and allow love. Amen. Right. The power of love All to right. have our change, to yeah. bring about a change in our lives. Amen. Yeah. So I thank God for this time of speaking. Yeah. Amen. God bless you all. Yeah.